know how this will end. The killer is an enigma to the police and a lurking shadow in my own life. If only I can keep Joy from harm, I would do anything, even push her away, if it meant pushing her to safety. The form of each murder changes. The inner zeal is the same. This is why the killings seem random, unrelated. But the police can't see these connections. Except Officer Baxter. I can't say I trust him, but he's my only chance. This is nowhere near over. So many deaths, but likely many more yet to come. I can't help but believe this graveyard will only get more full. He's most likely a man of imposing size and stature. Someone who's accustomed to violence. Heinous acts in his past define him to the point where he no longer knows who he truly is. This place, it puts me in touch with odd sensations centuries old. I'm trying to focus on this killer. But the echoes from these sensations keep interfering, like deaths from the past pleading to be remembered. The vibrations I'm getting from this house are off the charts. It's like the museum. The old violence tries to take over the new. I have to tell Officer Baxter about this. This could be a vital piece. Weird how things work out.